Have you ever dreamt of embarking on a global culinary odyssey, where each dish tells a tale of cultural richness, historical depth, and an explosion of flavors? Today, we invite you to join us on a tantalizing journey through iconic traditional dishes from around the world. From the sizzling streets of Seoul to the charming bistros of Paris, we'll unravel the stories behind beloved delicacies and explore the unique fusion of global influences and regional distinctions. So, buckle up your taste buds and get ready for a mouth-watering exploration. The Hamburger, a culinary classic in the United States, has a disputed origin, but its popularity is undeniable. While toppings and accompaniments vary across regions, Lewis's Lunch in New Haven, Connecticut claims to have served the original version since 1900, asserting itself as the oldest hamburger restaurant in the US. The burger's origins are unclear, with attributions to various individuals like Charlie McGreen, Frank and Charles Menchers, Oscar Weber, Bilby, Fletcher Davis, or Lewis Lassen. White Castle traces it to Hamburg, Germany, credited to Otto Quas. The hamburger gained national recognition at the 1904 St. Louis World Fair. Despite ongoing disputes over its invention, the hamburger remains a quintessential American dish. Aki and Salt Fish, a Jamaican culinary delight, carries a complex history. Initially associated with slave food, but now proudly embraced as the national dish, aki, a nutritious fruit with a buttery nutty flavor, is boiled and sautéed with salt fish, onions, and tomatoes. The dish is often served on bami with fried plantains. Jake's in Treasure Beach is renowned for its aki and salt fish, offering not only a delectable experience but also cooking classes. The aki fruit, introduced from Ghana to the Caribbean before 1725, is the national fruit of Jamaica. Captain William Blig brought it to England in 1793. Despite shipping restrictions due to its toxic parts, aki has become a culinary staple. Salted codfish, introduced to enslaved individuals, provided a long-lasting and affordable protein source. In preparation, sautéed salt cod is combined with boiled aki, onions, scotch bonnet peppers, tomatoes and various spices. The dish is commonly served for breakfast with breadfruit, hard dough bread, dumplings or boiled green bananas. Aki and salt fish can also be enjoyed with rice and peas or plain white rice, often referred to as seasoned rice. This beloved dish holds cultural significance, is acknowledged as the national dish of Jamaica, and is even enjoyed by Jamaican sprinter Usain Bolt for breakfast. The lyrics of Harry Belafonte's 1956 hit song Jamaica Farewell celebrate the goodness of aki rice, salt fish are nice. Cuckoo and flying fish, a culinary delight from Barbados, brings together a polenta-like cornmeal and okra porridge that perfectly complements the exquisite taste of flying fish. The flying fish is prepared either steamed with lime juice, spices and vegetables, or fried, served alongside a flavorful spicy sauce. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you feel that you've gained value so far. For an authentic experience, the Flying Fish Restaurant, which overlooks the St. Lawrence Bay, proudly claims to be the home of Barbados's national dish. This traditional pairing showcases the island's rich culinary heritage, marrying the earthy goodness of cuckoo with the delicate flavors of flying fish. Whether steamed or fried, this dish is a harmonious blend of textures and tastes, offering a truly Barbadian gastronomic experience. Bulgogi, a beloved dish in Korea, features thinly sliced prime cuts of meat, typically beef, marinated in a flavorful mixture of soy sauce, sesame oil, garlic, onions, ginger, sugar, and wine before being grilled. The result is a succulent and savory meat dish that captures the essence of Korean cuisine. Bulgogi is often enjoyed by wrapping the grilled meat in lettuce or spinach leaves and accompanied by kimchi, a fermented vegetable pickle. Many Korean restaurants offer a unique dining experience with miniature barbecues embedded in tables, allowing diners to grill the meat themselves. For an exceptional bulgogi experience, Seoul's upmarket Byokji Galbi chain stands out as a sensation, offering a delightful blend of traditional flavors and modern dining ambiance. Kibe, a versatile and delectable dish from Lebanon and Syria, stands as a core component of Levantine-style mezes, which are renowned for their delicious appetizers. This culinary delight consists of ground lamb, bulgur, and various seasonings. Kibe can be shaped into torpedoes or patties and prepared through various methods such as frying, baking, boiling, or stuffing. Interestingly, it's considered especially flavorful when enjoyed raw. For an authentic Kibe experience, Alepans in northern Syria are recognized as the greatest inventors of this dish. 
They infuse unique flavors by incorporating ingredients like pomegranate or cherry juice, showcasing the rich culinary diversity and creativity of the region. Goulash, a Hungarian culinary gem, has roots embedded in the nation's history. The term Gulias, meaning herdsman in Magyar, gained prominence in the late 1800s as Hungary sought symbols of national identity to distinguish itself from the Austro-Hungarian Empire part. This hearty dish, a symbol of Hungarian cuisine, is a robust stew featuring beef, vegetables, red onions and spices. The slow-cooked beef shin, or similarly richly flavoured cuts, combined with the distinctive taste of paprika, contributes to the unique and savoury flavour profile of goulash. For those seeking a lighter alternative, goulash leaves or goulash soup provides a flavourful variation while retaining the essence of the iconic Hungarian dish. Whether in its traditional stew form or its comforting soup, goulash represents the heart and soul of Hungarian culinary heritage. Wiener schnitzel, a quintessential dish from Austria, is a culinary masterpiece made with the finest ingredients and served fresh. This simple yet elegant dish features pounded veal cutlets that are breaded and lightly fried. Despite its Italian origins, Wiener Schnitzel has become Austria's food ambassador, capturing the essence of the country's culinary tradition. Austrians typically enjoy Wiener Schnitzel garnished with parsley and lemon slices, served alongside potato salad for a well-balanced and delightful meal. For an authentic experience, Vienna's Café Landmann, a city institution since 1873, stands out as a place where you can savour an authentic version of this iconic dish while soaking in the rich history and glamour of the surroundings. Renowned figures like Sigmund Freud, Marlene Dietrich and Paul McCartney have graced this establishment, adding to its fame and allure. Pot au feu, a classic dish from France, has its origins as a rustic winter stew that was continuously stewed and topped up as needed. Translating to pot in the fire, it's a warming and fragrant dish that typically includes stewing steak, root vegetables and spices. In the traditional preparation, the broth is sieved and served separately from the meat, creating a rich and flavorful dining experience. For an authentic taste of pot au feu in downtown Paris, Le Pot au feu at 59 Boulevard Pasteur specializes in this classic dish. This restaurant offers a culinary journey that captures the essence of traditional French cooking, allowing patrons to savor the comforting and aromatic flavors of pot au feu in an inviting ambiance. Roast beef and Yorkshire pudding, a cherished dish in England, endures as a much-loved Sunday lunch and a national symbol by the country's increasingly cosmopolitan cuisine. Named after England's eponymous county, Yorkshire, these batter puddings were initially served as fillers before the main course for those who could afford a little beef. Today, the two components are typically enjoyed together, accompanied by gravy-soaked roast potatoes, vegetables and horseradish sauce, creating a quintessential British culinary experience. For those seeking an authentic taste, London's Rules, founded in 1798, is a traditional British restaurant that continues to serve this iconic dish. Alternatively, exploring country pubs across England is another delightful way to experience the warmth and flavour of roast beef and Yorkshire pudding in a cosy and inviting setting. Irish stew, a classic dish from Ireland, originated as a thick broth of slow-boiled mutton with onions, potatoes and parsley. In contemporary preparations, Irish stew often includes additional vegetables like carrots and many cooks opt to brown the mutton first, enhancing its flavour. This hearty and comforting stew has become a staple in Irish pubs worldwide, reflecting the warmth and tradition of the Irish cuisine. For an authentic taste of Irish stew and other traditional fare in Dublin, Shabin Sheik, located on Georgia Street, stands out as a place to savour the rich flavours and homely appeal of this iconic Irish dish. It provides a delightful setting to experience the heartwarming essence of Irish culinary heritage. And that concludes today's culinary journey through iconic dishes around the world. We appreciate your company in this flavorful exploration. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to having you join us in our next video. Support our small channel by clicking the subscribe button. Suggestions for future culinary adventures are always welcome in the comments below. Until then, happy cooking and bon appetit!